the Inca Empire, a civilization that thrived in the Andes Mountains, left behind a legacy of remarkable engineering feats. Among their most impressive accomplishments is the Capac Nan, a vast road system that stretched over 24,000 miles, connecting distant corners of their empire. This network of roads, built without the aid of modern technology, stands as a testament to Inca ingenuity and resourcefulness. The Inca road system is a remarkable example of how a civilization adapted to and thrived in one of the world's most challenging environments. The Inca roads were not merely paths for transportation. They were intricately designed arteries that facilitated communication, trade, and military movement. They were vital to the Inca Empire's expansion and consolidation of power, connecting diverse communities and ecosystems across vast distances. The Inca road system played a pivotal role in the empire's success, enabling the efficient movement of people, goods, and information. The Capacnan, meaning Royal Road in Quechua, was the backbone of the Inca Empire. It extended from present-day Colombia in the north to Argentina and Chile in the south, traversing some of the most challenging terrains on Earth. The road network included coastal routes, mountain paths, and even bridges that spanned deep gorges. The Inca engineers overcame steep inclines, treacherous rivers, and arid deserts to create a network that unified their vast empire. The Inca road system was not a single road, but a complex network of interconnected routes. It included main arteries, secondary roads, and smaller paths that branched out to connect villages and agricultural areas. The roads varied in width, with some sections wide enough for two-way traffic and others narrower, designed for pedestrian travel or pack animals. This intricate network ensured that all parts of the empire were connected, facilitating communication and the flow of resources. The Inca engineers employed a variety of techniques to construct their roads, adapting their methods to the diverse terrains they encountered. In mountainous areas, they carved steps into steep slopes, creating stairways that allowed for the passage of people and animals. In swampy regions, they built causeways using layers of stone and gravel to provide a stable and dry surface. Along coastal plains, they constructed straight roads that facilitated rapid communication and travel. The Inca road builders were skilled in drainage techniques, ensuring that the roads remained usable during the rainy season. They incorporated drainage ditches and culverts to channel water away from the road surface, preventing erosion and maintaining the integrity of the paths. In areas prone to landslides, they constructed retaining walls to stabilize slopes and protect the roads from damage. These sophisticated engineering solutions ensured the long-term functionality and durability of the Inca road system. The Inca road builders utilized a range of materials depending on the available resources in each region. In areas abundant in stone, they used large, carefully fitted stones to create paved surfaces. In other regions, they employed gravel, sand, and even textiles to construct the roadbeds. They also used wood for bridges and railings, further demonstrating their adaptability and resourcefulness in using available materials. The Inca road system was not simply a functional infrastructure. It also reflected their aesthetic sensibilities. They often lined the roads with decorative stones or planted trees along the sides, creating visually appealing pathways that blended harmoniously with the surrounding landscape. They also constructed way stations, or tambos, along the roads, providing shelter and supplies for travelers. These structures, built with stone and thatched roofs, further demonstrate the Inca's architectural skills and attention to detail. Section 5. The Significance of the Inca Road System – Connecting an Empire The Inca Road System was far more than just a means of transportation. It served as the lifeblood of the empire, connecting its diverse regions and peoples. It facilitated communication, trade, military movement, and cultural exchange, contributing significantly to the Inca Empire's success and expansion. The roads enabled the efficient flow of goods, information, and people, integrating distant communities, and fostering a sense of unity throughout the empire. The Inca road system played a crucial role in maintaining control over the vast empire. It allowed the Inca rulers to dispatch messengers quickly, relaying orders and news to distant provinces. The roads also enabled the rapid deployment of troops, ensuring the swift suppression of any rebellions or uprisings. 
This ability to communicate and move troops efficiently was essential for maintaining order and consolidating the Inca's power. As Section 6, Trade and Economy, Facilitating the Flow of Goods. The Inca road system was instrumental in facilitating trade and economic activity within the empire. It allowed for the efficient transport of goods between different regions, connecting coastal communities with those in the highlands, and enabling the exchange of agricultural products, textiles, ceramics, and other essential commodities. The roads also facilitated the movement of llama caravans, which were essential for transporting goods across long distances. The Inca road system stimulated economic growth and prosperity throughout the empire. It connected producers of goods with consumers in distant markets, expanding the reach of Inca commerce and fostering economic specialization within different regions. The roads also facilitated the collection of tribute, as goods from conquered territories could be efficiently transported to the Inca capital, Cusco. This efficient economic system, supported by the extensive road network, contributed to the wealth and stability of the Inca Empire. Section 7, Military and Communication Ensuring Control and Swift Action. The Inca road system was a vital tool for the Inca military, enabling the rapid deployment of troops and the efficient movement of supplies. The roads allowed the Inca army to respond quickly to threats, suppress rebellions, and expand the empire's borders. The Inca rulers understood the importance of efficient communication and transportation for maintaining control over their vast territories. The Inca road system also served as a communication network, allowing for the swift relay of messages throughout the empire. Runners, known as chasqui, were stationed along the roads at regular intervals. They would relay messages by running from one station to the next, covering vast distances in a short amount of time. This system of runners ensured that the Inca rulers could communicate quickly with officials in distant provinces, maintaining control and coordination across the empire. Section 8. Cultural and Religious Significance, Pilgrimage and Integration The Inca road system was not merely a practical infrastructure. It also held cultural and religious significance. The roads were used for pilgrimages to sacred sites, connecting people from different parts of the empire through shared religious beliefs. The roads facilitated cultural exchange, as people from diverse communities interacted and shared ideas, traditions, and knowledge. The Inca road system played a vital role in integrating the diverse cultures and communities within the empire. The roads facilitated the spread of the Quechua language, the official language of the Inca empire, and contributed to the dissemination of Inca customs and traditions. This cultural integration strengthened the unity of the empire and fostered a sense of shared identity among its diverse population. Section 9. Legacy and Modern Relevance – Enduring Traces of the Past Centuries after the fall of the Inca Empire, the legacy of the Capac Nan endures. Many sections of the road system are still visible today, winding through mountains, valleys, and coastal plains. These enduring traces of the past serve as a testament to the Inca's engineering prowess and the importance of the road system to their civilization. The Inca roads continue to hold significance in the present day, serving as hiking trails, connecting remote communities, and providing insights into the past. They are a valuable resource for archaeologists and historians, offering clues about Inca culture, technology, and social organization. The Inca road system is a tangible link to a bygone era, reminding us of the ingenuity and resilience of the Inca people. Section 10, UNESCO World Heritage, Preserving a Cultural Treasure. In recognition of its historical and cultural significance, the Capac Nan was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2014. This designation acknowledges the outstanding universal value of the Inca road system and highlights the importance of preserving this cultural treasure for future generations. The UNESCO designation has brought international attention to the Inca roads, promoting their conservation and fostering further research and understanding. The UNESCO designation has led to increased efforts to protect and preserve the Inca road system. Governments, organizations, and local communities are working together to conserve these ancient pathways, ensuring that they remain accessible for future generations to appreciate and learn from. The Inca road system is a reminder of the interconnectedness of human history and the enduring legacy of ancient civilizations. Section 11, Conclusion 
a testament to Inca ingenuity. The Inca road system, the Capac Nan, stands as a remarkable testament to the ingenuity, resourcefulness, and organizational skills of the Inca people. Constructed without the aid of modern technology, this extensive network of roads connected diverse regions, facilitated communication, trade, and military movement, and played a crucial role in the Inca Empire's success. The enduring legacy of the Inca roads, preserved in sections visible today and recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, serves as a reminder of the remarkable achievements of this ancient civilization.